you guys are wondering how is this Alvarez art going to end? Who is going to be fighting who in this giant, massive art? Probably one of the biggest ones that we've had to see in the entire Fairy Tale series. What's going to be happening? And also, as well, a couple of theories around, thrown around across there as well. Yes, it's time to talk about some more Fairy Tale discussions, people. Now, the biggest question, actually, for a lot of people is like, since we've only got a couple of the characters to actually reveal so far with the Spring and 12, we actually haven't got to see all of the characters yet and people wondering like who are the other you know people of the Sprig and 12 like are there actually people involved that we already know about is it perhaps Zerif is one of the members there's been a lot of stuff flying around and well I'm going to be talking about that now and we have a very helpful hint about who exactly we've got so far that's going to be revealed as a Sprig and 12 in this nice silhouette that's provided right here now I'm going to be starting off with Argeel as first as he's probably the most easiest one to pinpoint out with all the characters right there. As you can see he is right in the middle next to Demaria, next to August, next to like I'm guessing what that character is to be Nineha. And now also since I mentioned it as well, Demaria is on the far left as you can see, like you can see with her hairstyle. Not to mention why she wears a jacket as well, kind of like strapped down to her weight. You can obviously see right behind that as well, that is August. We can see him mainly because of the giant staff and also the giant stick and things that he has on there. On the far left, this is where we get to see God Serena on the far left. You can obviously see with the massive sort of giant little spiral thing that he has on the back of his, on his back. Invel, as you can see as well, is on the far right on the big silhouette thing, as you can see with his little pointy heads and the little more sophisticated robe that he has. Now, this is where things get a little bit more like confusing because we're wondering, well, where, where is Jacob? Where is Wall? And where, you know, does Nineheart go? I'm guessing Nineheart goes right next to August and also as well, Argeel. I'm mainly going for that is because from what we've seen with his character design so far, he always has this hooded kind of thing over him and he kind of looks a little bit demonic. And I'm guessing that's kind of what that design there we can see right next to him. I'm guessing that is him. Don't take my full word on that. Also as well, from one we can't see as well, which is very hard to get out, I'm guessing that this one person as well that I couldn't really decide, I'm guessing that has to be, like from what we've seen, like Bradman, Badman, like... From what we've seen of him so far, like, it's very hard to, like, really detail with, like, that design right next to him. But it's like, I have to guess because I'm thinking that the one in the hood from what we've seen so far that's lying down, that has to be Nineheart from what we've seen of it. Like, it's very hard to tell, but from what everyone else that I've said so far, that that may be necessary there, that could be him. Jacob is one I had a very hard time with as well, wondering where did Jacob exactly sit on this list. And I'm guessing he steps, like, right next to, I'm guessing, like, Serena. That's the only one I feel like he actually sits next to. And then you're thinking, well, where does Wall go? Like, we, we, we haven't seen, like, Wall's actual kind of, or, like, design. Like, we've seen, like, what he looks like now. I'm guessing, like, Wall is the giant, massive one because they were just showing off his proxy. But you can see by the little pudgy layers and also, like, the little tiny antenna, little hair thing. Like, what his actual design had. The question is, though... Who is this character next to Nineheart and also as well, Invel? This is obviously like a character that we haven't seen yet with like this long hair. And from what we've seen, because like Brandish is already a character that we've seen as well, as you can see on the right hand side, we don't actually know who this character is at the moment. Like we haven't seen this character that actually has this long kind of ponytail hair out of all the characters from what we've seen in the Spring 12. And the only other one that doesn't actually match up to what we've seen so far as well is the one next to Serena as well. This character with this big massive hood right next to him, well we can see going next to Demaria, Serena and Jacob. We still don't know who this character is as well. We have no idea who this person is and so I'm wondering where exactly is the rest of, you know, like, of this character. Like who is this character and who is this female figure as well with the ponytail and I'm only guessing that's a female figure as well by kind of like the stance that it's looking at and also as well by the hair and kind of the way that it's just kind of posing in the actual thing. We still don't know this could actually still be a male character but it looks a lot more like a female figure to me. believe that everyone else on this list is perfectly where they belong. The only characters that we don't know so far is this person sitting next to Nineheart and also this person next to Serena, Jacob and Demaria. We still don't know who that is and they're 
Now that leads to the actual fights that will be happening. Now we already know that Argyle has been defeated. So his fight with Urza, that's already been written off the list already. So we've still got to determine where exactly are these other 11 fights now been happening. Now with the whole thing with happening with Brandish, like whole thing with her saying like, oh, maybe she might join Fairy Tail. That's probably the kind of thing that's going right now. Maybe she might even fight one of their own, like after like finding out about everything that happened with like Lucy. Although she's still kind of like a bit toxic to her after the whole thing about like saying Nazi from that tumor. We honestly still don't know right now, like what she's exactly got in plan. Maybe she might come back and turn on him or maybe she, like something I imagine with her and Lucy is going to maybe turn her to the good side. I don't think she's going to be really wanting to stay with Alvarez. We might want to hear a little bit more of the story of why exactly she joined them in the first place. But I still don't see like we're going to be seeing an actual fight from that unless like Lucy has to knock some sense out of her. And the only person that really has an actual emotional connection to brandish out of everyone is Lucy. So if there is going to be a fight, then it's going to have to be between her and Lucy. Now, the whole thing with the Demario fight, we already know that Kagura is already facing her at the meantime from what we saw from the first day of the battle. And also know that we know that Urza is going alongside with them. I'm guessing what's going to be happening with this is that we're going to be seeing a lot of fighting between Kagura or as well as Urza. Those two are probably going to have to team up to take down Demario from what we've seen so far. And that's mainly just because of the swordsman, the whole thing, attachment to them. Since we know that's already people that are going to the south from what we know is now. It's like Grey, Julia, Wendy, and Larkus, and Natsu was supposed to go down there as well, but we know what situation he's in right now. And also the whole fight with Wall as well, since Wall is there at the moment, we've, I'm guessing that Larkus is probably going to have to fight with him. Like, he seems like kind of more bare off. I still think that like, like, like maybe Gargiel would have had the chance to have a fight with him, but since like Gargiel is on the other side, it would be kind of like near impossible for him to go fighting over there, unless like, like Pantheon flies all across him, so... I'm guessing right now that's going to be interesting since we also have nine highs there as well. So I'm guessing what might be happening to happen is that whilst that's happening, maybe Gray and Julia might be able to have to take down with nine heart. But I still think nine heart is going to probably annihilate like maybe after the whole like Demardi is taken down. Like maybe once they're down, nine heart will come really in and come start pummeling him into. But there's not a lot we can go on nine heart right now. All we know that he's just sitting down, waiting patiently to take care of things. Now, with Invel, since he is an Ice Magician, you think the obvious thing would be going with the Grey. Well, personally, I agree with that as well. But the whole thing about that is that he's heading straight into Magnolia alongside with Zerath. So, I'm kind of wondering about this whole situation right now. Like, what's going to be happening? Because it's a bunch of them that are heading straight there. Like, we know that Selena as well is trying to head down there as well alongside with Jacob and also as well with August. We saw what they were trying to deal with. Although, they had the whole situation dealing with, like, the, the Ishgar gods alongside with Jura. I still think the situation with the Invel since the Ice Magician and we've seen like Grey out of curiosity for him. I think we are going to see like oh, who's the better Ice Magician at some point. Whether or not a Fairy Heart is stolen at some point, I'm guessing that is probably going to have to happen. Now, the whole question is like, Serena, who is he going to fight? Well, personally, I said it in my last chapter, I think Serena is going to probably be occupied. Whether or not if August will be accompanying him as well. I imagine like we're going to be hitting a Serena versus Gildas fight and with August, I think we might be seeing a Makarov versus August, like seeing like two of the most legendary pros go against to each other, two like aged veterans. It would be a very interesting thing since we haven't seen a fight with Makarov probably since like he fought like Prep all those times ago, like since we've seen the Hades fight in like when we saw Temurajima. I think that'd be a nice interesting thing to see like maybe after all this time he's going to fight for his family again. Like that'd be really nice to see from Makarov since he, I think he should be on the front lines as well. He should be defending people and all that. And especially defending against like what's happening now. And I imagine he's probably going to be taken down by Zerath maybe once and for all for this time. Jacob's a weird one. Like, honestly, to this point, I still don't know who is actually going to be fighting Jacob at this point. Because Jacob is still with them. And we do honestly don't know. Because, like, from what we've seen of him so far, like, he's, like, he's like framed for an assassin. So, honestly, I can't say at the moment who exactly would be facing off about Jacob. Like, who is really, like, that's going to have to deal with, like, assassination kind of stuff. Like, we really don't know. Unless we get some more reinforcement. Like, Jacob could be an interesting thing if maybe Jalal is against him. Like, maybe if, like, that's what's going to be happening. Because Fairy Tail's base right now is looking very low. And we did hear that they were going to help at some point. We did hear, like, Crime Sorcerer. So maybe for, like, dealing with August, dealing with Jacob, like, dealing with those ones, we might see Crime Sorcerer teaming up to go all against them. We honestly still don't know at the moment.
And Bradman as well, all we know is that he's going on a slaughtering rampage next to the blue Pegasus and Sabertooth people. So I imagine maybe Sting and Rogue are probably going to have to go against him because he's going at such a wild, like, rampage right now. And I doubt blue Pegasus is going to be doing anything. Like, we already saw, like, Ichigo getting his ass kicked in by one of, like, Wall's, like, little proxies, like, robots compared to what he has to go against. So he seems like just like kind of like a wild monster that we'd actually be dealing with since he does look like some kind of demonic nature. Maybe something that Zero has like crammed up in that book of his. Maybe like a wild demon that might be in and they have to deal with him. Obviously as well, we still know like what exactly is going to be happening with the Natsu and Acnologia fight. We still don't know. Some of this stuff could actually get interrupted if Acnologia actually comes out into the battlefield. Although we did see from Zareth as well, he did say that he would have to wait patiently until he will witness Ragnarok, the end of gods. And this is why maybe once after so many people have got around, or maybe if he actually gets bored of like, Zareth, I've gotten tired of waiting for your minions, like doing all this dirty work. It's time for me to come in. I want a slaughtering ground. He knows that he wants to kill both Zareth. He wants to kill Nut. He wants to destroy the world. He wants the best fight he can possibly get like that. And he isn't going to have no trash there to try and deal with him. He's going to have none of that whatsoever. And he ain't going to take it. So I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe I have to make four more members. in six will essentially go down from there. We can still see more. The question is, guys, like... Honestly, what do you guys think? Who are these other members of the Spriggan 12? Do you think one of them could potentially be Zareth himself being, like, the leader of all the Spriggans? Although we seem like Serena is the strongest of them. Honestly, it's entirely up to you guys what you think. But I know we've still got a couple more characters to see. And who they are, that's going to be interesting himself. Like, I've heard crazy things. One is Layla Hartfilia. One is this character. One is that. It's honestly, like, very crazy to hear you guys' opinions. And it makes me very happy to be a fairy tale fan. And just to be enjoying like what you guys say in the comments section down below because it really makes me happy you guys being so active in the chapters and the episodes talking about your favorite series thinking about this and that theory and honestly it inspires me and i keep wanting to do it because i absolutely love it and i've been having such a blast doing these for the past two weeks it's been such an enjoyable thing to talk to you guys about this honestly that's all for me everyone so let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below don't go, go too crazy at me though like it's just theories on my end but honestly, I think that's why the fight lights are going to be right now. And don't worry, next week we'll be having another discussion for you guys. So don't worry, you'll have more to taste your palate with until we have to keep waiting for every chapter there and there. It's going to be agonizing, keep going through this stuff. But don't worry, there's more material to be brought into the plate. That's all for me, everyone. So thank you very much for watching, always. And I'll catch you guys next time.